Hey, I'm Jason Chapman, and I run a music store with my brothers, John and Jeremy. People are always asking, what is it like to be in a family business? Well, I've been in a band with my family for the last 28 years. And if that wasn't enough, we recently opened a music shop. Since opening the shop, we found that the people that come through the door are just about as unique as the instruments they carry. And now, since they gave us a TV show, we leave the cameras running, and there's always something going on at the shop. another episode of the Ozark Music Shop. We are back one more time. I'm John. That is Jeremy. This is Jason. Jason. <laughs> Did you have to step on my line? Really? Yeah. We're glad to have <laughs> you back for this episode. It's actually a special episode. We were uh, very fortunate to have a partnership with Silver Dollar City this year. We got to be down there with a lot of great bands, including this next one, The Graskles. That's the what we Graskles. have on the show this week. Incredible band. Graskles. Love them. Love watching them. That's Love right. playing with them on my mandolin. On <laughs> my mandolin. Well, really cool, because Jeremy got to hang out with them. They went on the great shootout. Yes. Uh, what was that all like? Well, um, so I was playing my mandolin. Um, <laughs> on the great shootout. Yeah, and then the members of the Graskles were just helping shoot and doing the point system for me while I was serenading them. And it was really beautiful. That is very strange, but uh, I'm uh, glad you guys were able to Kind of romantic, just, it was just a really special time. I'll bet it was. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they just cannot forget that. They yeah. tried and tried, but they just cannot <laughs> forget that. Meanwhile, know. meanwhile on the front of the boat, me and John here were going to Hong Kong trying to get the prisoners <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> Make this a smooth ride. No, that, that was that, that was not good. No. <laughs> no, no, no. That was just really that was really not good. Good Jason. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, <laughs> oh man. All right. So after you were done uh, on the great shootout, uh, we actually got them in to to sing a couple songs. Have a brand new uh, lead singer, Chris Davis, came in, and uh, we've known him for quite a long time. It was his very first show with the band. It was pretty cool. So what did you think of that? He was a great singer, he had all the harmonies down, and um, I don't know, just tell me. I think it's great for the Graskles. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Graskles are one of our favorites. Uh, they are actually here on the last season, and it was a lot of fun to get them back again. What do you have to say about that? I mean, I saw them off the... <laughs> oh, I can't do this. <laughs> We had a great time. I hope you guys enjoy us. There is definitely a reason why this is one of the most award-winning bands of all times, and we are so fortunate to have them on again. Please enjoy the Graskles. Why am I so awkward? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Well, we're back here at uh, Silver Dollar City for a special uh, episode of the Ozark Music Shop and extremely proud to have the Graskles with us here this afternoon. You Great. guys sound amazing and thank you guys for stopping by with us. Thanks for having us. Pleasure. Absolutely. Uh, these guys are sounding great. There's been a few changes. I don't know if you guys have noticed since you've been here last year. You guys should know. You've got a few changes. Did you know that? We, we just noticed when we had them all go on stage <laughs> and had someone different. But uh, this guy here has a different shirt. Than That's what it is. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. That's really nice. <laughs> you get that shirt. You get that Mount Pop. <laughs> we, we are excited to announce here this is uh, going to be his first show actually with us and uh, doing your all show is the first time he's been on stage with us and Mr. Chris Davis our new uh, lead singer guitar player and we're Come excited <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Very excited to have you here. No, he's sounding great. Uh, Chris, it is awesome to see you again. It's been a long time. Great to see you. We hung out a lot, a lot when we, we were did. a lot younger. The brothers, is, uh, yeah, it's been <laughs> so good to see you all again. Y'all made the move to Missouri, and yeah, we didn't see you for a while, but dang, if you didn't come back, y'all yeah. made the vengeance. <laughs> well, we're, we're around, and it's cool seeing you playing guitar. You guys sound great. It's a really cool uh, uh, change for you guys, and it's got to be a big change for you, Terry, because we were discussing this before. The other fellow, the other Terry, was here for a lot of years, and you guys stood on stage together for a long time. Almost 30 years. Yes. Wow. Kind of, kind of strange not seeing him over there. I bet it <laughs> is. I bet especially not that Terry. Yeah, that Terry. <laughs> Never, TNT. TNT. That's TNT. right. Never been one like him. That's yeah. right. But you guys were. You were together uh, with the Osmond brothers for quite a long time. For 12 years. Yep. And then yeah. started the band, the Gospels, right? For 15 years. Yeah. So Can't keep a job. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was the the origin of the band. Now we only have two of the original Graskels left, right? Right here, two youngest guys. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to happen too. Yeah. I did. <laughs> so, so what happens now? Have you guys picked out your replacements? Is this yeah. coming sometime soon? I sure. haven't started looking for mine yet, but I've got this picked out. I've got a pretty good idea. <laughs> Oh, 
City, and I know we were all talking about all the history uh, here at the, I mean, we were doing it, gosh, we probably did 20 years straight of playing here, and I'm assuming every one of you has been here before. Uh, Christine, what was the first time you came out here? It's probably 20 years ago. Really? Yeah. So we probably hung out, we just didn't know we hung out. Exactly. <laughs> we, hung, we hung out separately, but, you know, I remember, yeah, it was, uh, I mean, we saw each other all the time there yep. for a while, back in our younger days, and mm -hmm. we would venture out this way, and Silver Dollar City's always been uh, just one of those shows that you count on. And I, I know all of us, it seems like you even play it with multiple bands sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think yes. Danny played this place with three different groups last May. Oh, yeah. So, you Adam, know. you've been here with several folks. Uh, several different bands, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't want to name them all, but... <laughs> <laughs> you got to know how many bands have been fired from. You can't get the There's the man. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think this uh, place is, is a huge um, kind of a launching pad for a lot of younger bands too. I know back with New Tradition when I was here, they gave us an opportunity to come here and play when hardly no one else even knew us. And I, we nearly lived here for a few years when we got started. And, and you see a lot of younger bands here and, and along, of course, with the established, but I think it's great that they give opportunities to everyone here. And the band contest, it's, yeah. uh, it's great because there's an age limit, right? It's just for there young. Is. People see to see all these groups of kids who are just really excelling, and Silver Dollar City kind of gives them a platform sure. for that. Mm -hmm. I've time. always thought that was really cool, is because you have you got to see some of these players that have grown out of even the bands that they started with. This has been going on for quite a long time, and, yeah. and not just the contest, but like you said, there's other early bands. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to, to watch throughout the years. So. If you're looking for an acoustic instrument, the Acoustic Shop is the place you want to go. The Acoustic Shop, uh, we've been open about four years now and uh, have been nominated top 100 uh, dealer at NAMM Show uh, for two years now. At the Acoustic Shop, we mainly focus on acoustic music instruments and the accessories that go with them. Guitars, mandolins, banjos, basses, and accessories and the, the lessons and repairs that go along with those. It's uh, something that we've been passionate about for the last uh, 28 years of our lives playing in a family band growing up, and we opened a all-acoustic music store in uh, Missouri to help fill the needs of people that are more focused on just that niche of the genre. With us having all those years on the road, it's really helped us to find the right instrument for the right person. When somebody calls us or comes into the shop, we can actually talk to them and know exactly what kind of instrument would be the best fit for them. And I think that's just something that we bring that a lot of people can't started out teaching lessons before we even opened the shop, so that is something that has been a passion of ours for the last 15 years. I believe we've said this is where the pros teach, and I truly believe this is where the pros teach. At the Acoustic Shop, this isn't just what we do, this is who we are. So if you're wanting to learn how to play the banjo, the fiddle, the mandolin, guitar, the Acoustic Shop's the place for you. So what's new with the band these days, besides this guy? I mean, <laughs> well, we're working on some, uh, got some new sponsorships. Uh, one of the original members of the band, Jamie Johnson, he's uh, he's working with us behind the scenes. He comes out and does some shows with us every now and again. Yeah, we're the seven, the seven piece grascals, but uh, <laughs> he's uh, he works with sponsorships. He's working with uh, Mayberry's Finest again, which 
was the first sponsorship we worked with in the early days and also with Journey Pure, a, a, a rehab aid, a place where people can go to get um, get straightened up, hopefully, you know, that kind of thing. But recovery. Their, yeah, recovery yeah, yeah. and stuff. And uh, they're, they're sponsoring. We got our new ride. They're going to wrap it all up and NASCAR style. You know, NASCAR stuff. style. That's what I, when I think of the grasses, I'm thinking NASCAR style. That's it, NASCAR <laughs> style. That's it. But we're excited about uh, being with uh, them for, with Journey Pure for the first time, Mayberry's Finest again, and uh, working on a new album. Be out, should be out, I, I would say, probably fall this year, probably when the new CD will be out. And So just, just watch we'll things going on. We'll feature oh, the sky. Right. Right. Well, I, I'm serious. I, I was really enjoying listening to the guys pick. I, I love the new sound. I think all of it sounds great. Vocal sound great. You guys all continue to sound better. Christian sounds better. I mean, <laughs> everybody sounds better even still. So we... We never mastered that. We always go year to year and go, ah. uh, I don't agree. 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 <laughs> and after our little segment we had, maybe we should just join forces and all be one big band anyway. I like that idea. It's pretty special. Well, you have a seven piece grass, so let's go ahead and add five more. <laughs> <laughs> all three. <laughs> Again, guys, I am so, so proud that you guys can. Thanks for having me. You guys came by and, and picked for us because uh, I'm really enjoying the new sound. Thanks for letting us uh, pick with you. That was even more fun. Thank you. Thank you. That's my favorite part of this whole deal is getting oh, yeah. to ruin all you guys. <laughs> 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 so, thanks again for coming out and being with us. Thank and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon. That was right, great. Thanks. Thank you. Yes, it was. And a spectacular uh, band. We uh, we were in, we were very glad to have them on the the show. They uh, confirmed. They did uh, a lot. Yeah. Of, they got my account number. Nice bass player. Yeah, yeah, and they're just some of my very best friends. And they, I just, well, I just really great. love playing mandolin I think, I with it. them. I think it's. Uh, I really, really, really care for them. For, so. right, we're kind of. 
Get. All right. Oh. Scan. Get out of the way. <laughs> this is a little awkward. My gig. Okay. All right, I'll talk well, to you after the show. as you can see, uh, we had a little bit of a contractual uh, argument about uh, who was going to be allowed to be on the yeah, show. Yeah, exactly. Like um, I said, you can't do the show without me. Yeah. I don't care who you get to say they're Jeremy Chapman. It, well, guess it takes what? a little bit more personality than yeah, you can I guess uh, it find does. Well, in guess your what? repair the best, shop. The best part about this is they never asked to have me removed from the show. They were willing to pay uh, my money. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe if you would boycott, you'd get more m and <laughs> 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 anyway. Anyway, the Grass Goals was a great episode. Yeah. I'm glad favorite. that I was there for the filming. I'm sorry I missed the intro, but nobody Important wants water. them green M&Ms. Nobody no. wants them. I don't know why And my water better have bubbles in it. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. <laughs> it was great to have the Grass Goals on the show again. Um, had a great time. Always love having the guys. And you know what? If you wanted to see the first time they were on the show, what, what do you do? It's on YouTube. We've it's got YouTube. it archived. It's archival footage. Archived. We're kind of like the Smithsonian. What? Like, yeah. You can be pretend like you're Indiana Jones and go into the archives? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> also, Facebook. We got Facebook. Um, also doing the premieres, like we said in the past. Come check us out at noon on YouTube, 6.30 on mm -hmm. Facebook every Tuesday. Our, our, and our then replacements will be there to talk about their debut on television. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I bet they are going to be chat. Me. Guess what? I was Jason for a minute. Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. I got paid half Special half thanks to Liz and Trent. Uh, those are guys that are guys, gals and guys. Oh. Who are <laughs> Scabs. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just picking something right there. <laughs> <laughs> so glad. I had, I had an injury that has just come open again. That's awesome. They were actually a whole lot more fun to deal with yep. than these two. We're going to have to bring them back again next so we're gonna bring him back the whole crew for the shop and right. we could stay home. <laughs> hey, I like this idea. Yeah, anyway, might, we will see you bad. guys again next Sunday for another episode. I hope I'm gonna be here. Yeah. We'll see. I'm here for two seasons. I, I just renewed. <laughs> I'm not committing to nothing. I am signed up and I am happy. I am the Sheldon of the show. Really? Yeah, yeah. twice as much as you guys. Wow. Personality. <laughs> 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 We'll make some oh, okay. of it. <clears throat> Are we I doing that again? No. I thought you wanted that. No, we'll just bit. do the whole thing again. Oh. Nope, it's gonna be perfect. You can't you can't recreate that moment. <laughs>